Good evening, Council Chair Taylor, Council Members, Director Lazarus, and community. Thank you for the opportunity to share the Delaware County COVID-19 Task Force update. COVID-19 cases have decreased recently in Delaware County, but are still extremely high. PCR testing positivity rate has dropped to 20.2%, down from 28.1% in the previous seven days. Incidence rate per 100,000 has decreased from 715 to 418. Average daily COVID-19 specific hospitalizations and average daily COVID-19 patients on ventilators are also trending downward, although more slowly and with the expected lag trailing case count numbers. The high PCR test positivity rate in Delaware County indicates that cases are being significantly undercounted. Since the beginning of the pandemic, at least one out of five Delaware County residents have been infected a total of 106,039 reported cases. So far, January has been the month with the highest average cases. Delaware County hospitals continue to operate at capacity with limited ICU availability due to COVID-19 admissions. The Medical Reserve Corps is still supporting our county health systems with a plan to keep volunteers in place through mid-February a state-directed strike team was deployed to the Crozier Health Facilities this past week, including registered nurses and respiratory therapists. The strike team will provide short-term staffing assistance as our area hospitals experience record numbers of COVID-19 patients. The Delaware County COVID-19 Task Force continues its vaccine mission and recently reached a milestone of over 170,000 vaccines delivered to county residents since the first vaccine was administered at the 9-11 Center in January of 2021. The homebound program has vaccinated nearly 2,200 individuals. Vaccination clinics continue to operate at the Delaware County Wellness Center, the Keystone First Wellness Center, and the Watkins Senior Center. Community vaccination events are scheduled through February at the SEPTA 69th Street Terminal in Upper Darby, a multicultural vaccine program at Christ Lutheran in Upper Darby Church, and Senator Kane's sponsored health fair at Chester City Hall on February 17th. A Delaware County Employees and Families COVID vaccine clinic is slated for this Friday, February 4th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. COVID-19 testing remains available throughout the county at Mercy Fitzgerald Hospital in Yadin, the Delaware County Emergency Services Training Center in Sharon Hill, the Delaware County Wellness Center, and the Keystone First Wellness Center. Check out the delcopa.gov website for dates and times, or call our Delaware County Wellness Line at 484-276-2100. Promising news this week is Pfizer's request for emergency use authorization for the two-dose COVID-19 vaccine for children six months to five years. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, 11.4 million children have tested positive since the start of the pandemic. 3.5 million cases reported in January alone. Vaccinating this population is an important opportunity to provide parents with an option to help protect their children from this virus and prepare for future variant surges. While the disease is not as severe in children, many kids in this age group have been hospitalized and some have died. The vaccine will make hospitalization and death preventable. We approach the next few weeks with cautious optimism as trends in viral transmission decline. The fatigue and frustration surrounding the pandemic is present everywhere. Recognizing that the coronavirus will be with us in the months and years to come is key. We must adopt best practices to continue our lives safely and at the same time get back to our normal routines. Vaccines and testing along with sensible strategies dictated by science is our best defense. Thank you for your attention. I am always available for questions.